address a couple questions that I received on my external wastegate reaction video. If you have not seen that video, I'll put it in the cards above. Be sure to check it out. But a couple of you noticed that in that video, my external wastegate did not flutter and you wondered why because you've seen other Subarus and the wastegate did flutter. So I'm gonna start off by saying that an internal wastegate and an external wastegate essentially work the same way. The difference on whether they flutter or not has to do with boost control, not the wastegate itself. In fact, an internal wastegate will flutter if you have an electronic boost controller. The only reason that you don't hear it is because it's inside the downpipe, whereas an external wastegate vents to atmosphere. When it comes to boost control, you basically have two options, manual and electronic. A manual boost controller is something that you adjust by hand and you basically set it and forget it. So you set it to 15 PSI and your external wastegate or internal wastegate will open and actuate at 15 PSI. An electronic boost controller is much more dynamic and that is controlled by your car's ECU and that could be tuned as well for when it opens, what RPMs it opens, all that kind of stuff can be adjusted with an electronic boost controller. And that's what my car has, that's what Subarus have. So. The advantage to having an electronic controller is it's much more dynamic and it could change your boost control based on your PSI and your RPMs and all that stuff. And it could also be tuned to flutter or not flutter. So the reason that my wastegate did not flutter in that first video is because my boost controller was not plugged in. I was on a base map and and I basically was just limping the car around until I got it professionally tuned by Junior at Junior Tuned. And that's why now my car does flutter. So I just wanted to explain that if you were unaware of it so that you have some more knowledge to put in your toolbox about uh, wastegates. And hopefully you could see the difference between internal and external as well as fluttering and non-fluttering. I will also make a separate video comparing my wastegate when it fluttered and when it didn't flutter so that you could see directly side by side the two. So with that being said, I would hope this video was entertaining and insightful to you. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys next time.